Let's take a look at some of the things we're talking about. That's obviously buzzing here in the Beehive State. I want to talk to you guys about a couple different coaches right now that are under the microscope here in the state of Utah. Obviously, there's a shift over the last couple of decades between that player coach mentality. Where is the line between coach conduct and player receiving some of that criticism or feedback? We've talked to you a little bit about Tom Farden, the coach for the University of Utah gymnastics program. That's the Red Rocks. They're a mighty good program over the years. And this stems from Farden being basically let, you could say let go, but really parting ways with the university earlier this week. Um, he was accused of verbal and emotional abuse by a very high profile gymnast, Kara Aker, a member of the Olympic team and worked here out of the gymnastics program at the University of Utah. She left that program and announced retirement from the sport in October. Farden was then investigated and cleared. It was a long investigation by an outside company, but then he was placed on admin leave for an unnamed issue. Farden, of course, a huge asset. This is one of the most powerful programs in the nation in terms of gymnastics. Um, they are a big regional player. They are big on the national scale, and he led the team to several national rankings. Rankings aside, there was a bunch of issues you would believe within the program or else Farden wouldn't be gone. So it's that question of where is the line and how much has changed? I feel like the line, the leash, if you will, is much shorter in 2023 than it was maybe in the 1980s. Heck, even when I was playing uh, high school baseball, I had that incident or something with a coach that probably could have been grounds for removal at this point. But this is where we are and Farden is no more. Tolerance levels probably have changed. I think so. Yeah, that's changed. I think there's also two parts to it in the sense that you talked about the focus on what the coaches are doing. Also, there's, I think, more focus on the mental health of student athletes, of young people, making sure that's a focus. And I think that's part of what a lot of this has come from. The sensitivities are real, I think, and especially as things have evolved here over the last decade, a lot more is under the microscope now more than ever. So that's at the U. But in Southern Utah, Utah Tech, women's head basketball coach J.D. Gustin suspended for two games. There were also allegations of misconduct by players. This isn't new, but a private investigator submitted a report to Utah Tech, alleged Gustin bullied, physically intimidated, retaliated against players. Like I said, it's not new. It dates back to 2018. Utah Tech says findings will be used to improve the women's basketball program. A two-game suspension versus a goodbye, if you will, and and a change in program. These are um, high profile athletes who want to compete at the top level. And you've got to deal with that criticism. But when does that criticism or coaching cross the line? And I think that's a fine line. Society has changed a lot. And moving forward, if there are any other issues that arise with any sports teams and how coaching is done, then everybody's probably going to have to go back to the drawing board about you know, what is acceptable, what's not, what's being too pushy, what's not. So it, there's a lot of things uh, that are going to be at play in the in the coming days, and I'm sure it will be a discussion for a lot of sports groups across the board. I think a lot of people are more likely to say, hey, I feel more comfortable to report this now. I'm not putting my, uh, my mind in their mind per se, but I do believe with the more allegations we've seen kind of come out, I feel people are more inclined to say, hey, there's something that might be wrong here, and I'm going to at least go through the protocol and let my feelings be heard about this. Yeah, they see it in other places. They can step up, say, hey, this has happened to me too. This is what I want to see change. Now, I want to turn now to a big story, a literally big story that I'm very curious 